What's going on guys, Z-Free Zone here, and today we're going to have a look at NFTs. I know I haven't been posting in a week, I think it's been now, but at the same time I'm going to show you guys why I haven't been posting and what I have been working on. So I'm going to jump into the world of NFTs. If you don't really know what NFTs are, it is a bit of a confusing world, but if you YouTube it, I'm sure you guys will get a lot of information. I'm going to give you guys a rough download of what an nft is now what a as what i know an nft is is you make an image and you can sell it to someone and they can see where it's come from and they can see who owns that picture nft at any time so even if you trade it through multiple people you're always going to track it down to the person who's created it and where that's been so it's kind of like an online currency you could kind of say it is but like probably more for artists to sell their work and get recognized for it and for collectors to collect stuff and get recognized to where it come from and how much it sold for last time and all that good stuff so what we're going to do we're going to jump into open seas here if you haven't had a look at open seas i would really recommend open seas over most of the others just to get started there is a one-off gas fee to charge when you actually start um, trading on this one but it's only the one-off price so it's not too bad so if you come over here this is the gas chart here at the moment gas prices are pretty low but you can see gas prices can go up pretty high I actually signed up and started selling this when it was down to like 61 I think it was around here I started selling it right there I probably started selling my artwork and it has actually gone down a little bit further than what it was when I started selling it so that is the gas prices and it does change quite a lot this is like a Bitcoin so this is Ethereum uh, this is what I've been working with and this is pretty much what most of this art is selling on at the moment now this is blockchain technology and that is what I was talking about before how you can recognize where the art piece has come from and where it has been sold now now there has been a lot of hype on this at the moment so if you guys are any good at art or you can do any kind of digital stuff definitely jump on here and have a look you can see here uh, this is some of the artwork that is up at the moment and you got the price down here so you can see that so point one we'll go one is around five thousand Australian dollars for one of these guys so you kind of get the price ranges there of 0 0.1 you're looking at something a little bit different here but you can just come into Google here I'm Australian so that is Australian there so it's 4,700 I'm pretty sure this is just a little bit off but it still gives you a rough idea of what you're actually gonna sell for so if we go 0 0.1 that's like 500 bucks but then if we go just one it's about 4700 so that is pretty much what we're looking at there and that shows you these prices just here so you can come through and have a look at these prices now a lot of these are pretty low now it's really hard to get into this market so that is another thing at the moment there's so many images getting uploaded per day it is absolutely crazy but if you just want to chuck some artwork up there like I have and just see how it goes and just see what happens, that is definitely the way to do it. This crypto punk right here is very popular on here at the moment. You can see there is 9,999 results of this guy. And these are going for quite a lot. So there's nine, nine times 5,000. That's a really expensive piece right there. If we go into it, you can have a look here. We have got the price there and we're seeing it hasn't sold to anyone yet. No, it has been listed and then sold to this guy. So now this guy owns it and he bought it for 9.5. So quite an expensive piece there, but this guy has been absolutely going crazy. Uh, so if we come over to, I want to see crypto's actual page. See if we can get into his view activity here. So now we can see the activity here, and that's how much he's done over 90 days, which is absolutely amazing. So as you can see, he's been trading quite a lot in the last 90 days, and his average price is pretty high as well. Uh, if you come down here, you can see sales, bids, and all that good stuff, or you can just hit sales here. And there's all the ones he's been selling. 
So he has a gift to someone, this guy. So that's been gifted to someone, which is nice of him. Especially for how much his prices are going for. Like 16 here, if we go to the price chart here, we type in uh, 16. You can see that's like 75,000 for that one piece. So it's absolutely expensive as, so very interesting. But, but if you just spend some time on here and have a look around, tell you what, not everyone's getting these prices. And as I said, the market is overflowing at the moment. But if we come and have a look at some of the most expensive artworks here, this Crypto Punk here is six. And he sold this piece right here for $1.6 million. This is absolutely crazy. They're even selling the first tweet, or this guy's tweet, for 2.9. The first tweet, yeah. $2.9 million for that one. It's crazy. This one's 6.6. .6. So there's been some really big hitters. But I will say most of these guys are established people. Like they've been doing artwork for a while. And they've definitely got a name for themselves. That's why these are going for so much. Let's go down to the number one. And number one here is the first 5,000 5, days for $69 million. And there you go there. That is the highest one that's been sold. Absolutely crazy. If you guys aren't into this NFTs, but you guys can do any kind of digital artwork, 3D, video, audio, pictures, anything like that. I believe it's, why not? It's no brainer. Just chuck it up there and see how it goes absolutely amazing this thing so let's go down to my portfolio here uh, this will be in the link in the description below if you want to come check this out or even just hit the little heart buttons for us it's going to help a lot but this is my collection here so what my collection is it's actually platinum cities over here and we're going to have 30 of the one stars and then we're going to go two stars three stars and it's going to get rarer and rarer as it goes on you can see the one star here has 10 copies of this guy here. And now we'll go through with you guys how to upload this and actually how to make it 10 copies. So do stick around for that. But as you can see, all this is, this is my collection here. So if you guys want to come in and own one of these pictures, and it will tell the world that you actually own this guy. It's like a collective card. And yeah, jump in on it because um, it's pretty cool. And I will be giving a giveaway on Discord. So if you're not connected to the Discord, jump on Discord now. Sign up to that baby and I will be giving some of these guys away to some of the people on my Discord. Uh, you'll have to pay gas fees to transfer it. But that is about it. So yeah, jump on it guys. So make sure you're in that little list. But this is what I've been working on. This is why I've been away. I've been chucking up my own little series on here. I'm doing a hundred of these cities. As you can see here, I've only done 29. But I've got one to upload with you guys. So we'll jump straight into that. So what you do to upload, you come up to your little portfolio here, you go my collection. So now we're jumping into my section here. Platinum cities is the collection I made. So we'll jump on that one and we're going to add new item. So we'll come up to this screen. Now you can't actually put the copies of the numbers in there. It's actually locked out for you. So there is a little trick to that. Uh, you need to grab this guy here, come up to the top here and type in that. So it's question mark enable underscore supply equals true. That little statement will be underneath in the description below. So if you need that, you can copy it from down there. But that's all you need to type in there and then you push enter. And, and now you can actually change the supply down here to 10. That's what this collection is going to do. And now we bring up our little folder full of our little guys here. And now I am looking for one of these guys. And uh, is this one here we haven't uploaded. This will be the 30 in the whole collection so that is all the one stars that are going to be uploaded so there we go so now you come down here you just type in your name so with this one here i've got everything on the side in like a little uh, notepad so it's a little bit faster for you but that's what i'm going to name this guy as you can see it's all good there we've got a description i've got that copied over here so i'll copy that and put it in there so there's our description there now properties here is like your little tab so people can find your stuff a little bit easier. So we're going to go cities and we're also going to go Portland because that is the 
So go countries and go Portland. I've got cities on my brain. Go countries, go Portland. And then also we're going to do the rarity in this one too. So this will give people a chance to click on these tabs and go to the rarity of one stars or click on the country tab and go to all the cards that have Portland on them. So yeah, pretty good. Save that. And that is pretty much what we're going to do. We've got 10 there, so we're going to create. And then that's going to go through its process. At this point, you still haven't paid anything for this site. You can upload these. It's just when you put them on for sale, that's when you have to pay that initial fee. So we're going to get this guy going. And we'll visit that. So we'll have a look and see what it's created. There's 10 owned by me, which is marvelous. And then we come down here, we've got all that, and we've got the properties, so we've got the country, we've got the stars, so you can click on that and see the one stars, which is pretty much all I've uploaded. And you can see it's been transferred to me, so yeah, absolutely fantastic. So we're going to chuck this on for sale, so I can show you guys that as well. So we're going to come here, quantity, you want 1 out of 10, so you want to put that guy there. Because you only can sell 1 at a time, or you can just keep repeating this until you've sold all 10. Now, look, the price I'm going to put these guys at is that one there, so 0 5. That's about 200 bucks Australian, a bit less, but that's what I'm going to rate these one stars at, and it's going to go up as they go along. So then, when you pretty much hit this listing button here, that's when you're going to be paying your first fee. But with open seas, especially open seas, you only pay that one fee, and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. So we'll sign that. So we're actually signing a smart contract just then. And that smart contract is the start of the blockchain we are talking about before. So there you go, $183 for this guy here. And we have put it down and it's been listed by me. So everything there is good. And we are looking good there. Um, so there's a couple places you can actually buy these coins from. Um, my place here. This is where I bought it, CoinSpot. It's pretty good for Australian. Obviously, um, you look around in your country, you might find something different, but this is what I started with. Now, I did put $1,000 into this thing, and we got 186 because there is gas fees to transfer 1000 bucks over here. And then we went up to over 1000 So it definitely fluctuates quite a bit. And then we took 200 bucks out, and that 200 bucks went to the wallet over here. So we had 200 bucks in there, but I spent the like 130, I believe it was 124 on the startup cost for the for open seas, and that's Australian, so it's it's like half price for American if you guys want to know that. But then so after that 200 dollars you can see it jumped and then went back down, so it's flush rating quite a bit. So I'm no invest in investment advice, so don't take me for any advice here. This is just me testing the waters here. I've got some Shiba and I've got some Telcoin. They're the ones I'm banking in for long term, long term see how it goes kind of things. And Ethereum right here, we've only got 0.16, so we haven't got much Ethereum at all. But if you have a look at our list here, Ethereum's 800 and Shiba's 17 bucks. I've chucked in and Telcom. Uh, eight bucks. So I've chucked in twenty dollars there. It's gone down. I've chucked in ten dollars and it's gone down. And this one is going down as well. But yeah, that is pretty much it. And once you've got it here, you want a wallet. And once you got the wallet, you can transfer wherever. This right here, that is my wallet number. So if um, anyone wanted to buy something off me, transfer or anything like that, that is the number you use. But other than that, I can get into more of these details later if you guys, especially in the comments, just let me know. This is the gas prices. I brought mine at 61 slow. So you can see the gas prices are pretty close to where I bought from last time. So it is going back up. But yeah, I hope that guys kind of solves the um, mystery of what I have been doing. But yeah, this is pretty much it, man. I've been making these cards here. If you guys want to come along, hit the like button on this. Favorite these guys. That would be absolutely awesome. And also make sure you jump in the Discord because I will be giving some of these guys away. As I said before, all you have to do is pay gas prices. What you want to do if you want to give one away... We'll go into that a little bit here. So we go sell. So we're going to sell another one. And then we want to put down to privacy. 
and then I put your wallet number in here so that's uh you give me this number here and I'll privately sell you this and what I'll do is just put zero and it says it sells for zero but you will have to pay gas prices for the transfer but that is it so yeah if you want to jump in discord get your free one and absolutely lovely i'll talk to you guys next time there will be more games coming out more conan i'm thinking of starting an actual new conan series so make sure you jump around for that but other than that guys i'm z free zone and i'll catch you guys later i know this has been a definitely different curveball in the mix but i just wanted to show you guys what i've been up to catch you later